we derive on the boundary layer equations starting from the 2D navy source equation for flow over a flat plate. So this is a flat plate of length L. These are the x and y coordinate systems. This is the free stream of air approaching the flat plate with a uniform free stream velocity of u infinity. This is our gradually growing boundary layer and this is the boundary layer thickness at a distance x from the initial starting point delta x. So from the continuity equation we have dou u by dou x plus dou u by dou y equals to 0. And from the 2D navier Stokes equation we have dou u by dou t plus u dou u by dou x plus v dou u by dou y equals to minus of 1 upon rho times dou p by dou x plus nu times dou to u by dou x square plus dou to u by dou y square. Similarly, we have the navier Stokes equation for the v velocity component. Now next, we non-dimensionalize each of the velocity coordinates, the pressure, the x, y and the time t. We represent the non-dimensional u star as u upon u infinity, v star as v upon v infinity, the pressure p star as p upon rho u infinity square, x star as x by c, x by l where l is the length of the flat plate, y star equals y upon delta where delta is the thickness of the boundary layer at a distance x on the flat plate and t star equals t upon l by u infinity and we assume that delta is very very less than l that is the boundary layer thickness is considered to be very small compared to the length of the plate in terms of dimensions. We then next move on to the continuity equation which is dou u by dou x plus dou u by dou y equals to 0. Now plugging in the non-dimensionalized form of u from this above equations that we have just derived and correspondingly plugging in the non-dimensionalized form of x and y that is x star, y star and u star, we get this following representation for the continuity equation. And by order of dimension and analysis, we can say that u infinity upon L is almost of the same order as that of v infinity upon delta. So these two can be considered to be equal and eventually cancelled out from these equations, from this equation, so that we are finally left with dou u star by dou x star plus dou v star by dou y star equals to 0 which is a new non-dimensionalized form of the continuity equation. We then move on to our x momentum equation which is dou u by dou t plus u times dou u by dou x plus v times dou u by dou y equals to minus 1 upon rho times dou p by dou x plus nu times dou to u by dou x square plus dou to u by dou y square and plugging in the non-dimensionalized form of u, t, x, p, we get this following equation in terms of u star, t star, x star, v star, p star and y star. Rearranging these equations and making the order of dimensional analysis assumption that is u infinity square upon L is of the same order as that of nu times u infinity upon delta square we can rearrange this expression over here. From this expression over here, we can rearrange this to get delta square upon L square is of the same order as that of nu upon u infinity times L or delta upon L is of the same order as that of 1 upon square root of the Reynolds number. Using these set of assumptions for the final equation, we are finally left with this equation in terms of the non-dimensionalized parameters that is dou u star upon dou t star plus u star times dou u star upon dou x, is x star plus v star times dou u star upon dou y star equals minus of dou p star upon dou x star plus dou 2 u star upon dou y star square. We do a similar uh, work uh, workout for the y momentum equation. So we first write down the y momentum equation and apply the u, t, x, y, p, v in terms of the non-dimensionalized parameters that is the star parameters and we get u infinity times v infinity upon l as common in the LHS. Now if we divide u infinity times v infinity upon l uh, from both the sides of the equation 
then from the RHS we can see that if we focus on this term divided by u infinity times v infinity upon l then here rho rho will get cancelled so we will be left only with u infinity square upon delta so u infinity square upon delta divided by u, inf u infinity times v infinity upon l we are left with l upon delta whole square and as we had seen earlier delta upon l is of the same order of magnitude as that of 1 upon root over of Reynolds number of for the plate of length l so l upon delta will be equivalent to square root of Reynolds number so square of that will be equivalent to the Reynolds number so we can see that over here we have the the ratio of the pressure on inertial terms which is equal to the Reynolds number of the plate of length l correspondingly if we uh, divide the second term with this uh, term u infinity times v infinity upon l so we'll have this term over here that is nu times v infinity upon delta square divided by u infinity times v infinity upon l so we'll be left with nu times l upon l square times u infinity which is nothing but 1 upon the Reynolds number so this when multiplied by the Reynolds number will get cancelled and will give 1 so from here we can conclude that this term that is dou p star upon dou y square or dou y star this has to be zero in order for this entire equation to be in its non-dimensionalized form so combining the uh, observations that we have from the y momentum equation that is dou p star upon dou y star equals to zero from the x momentum equation which is this following equation and in non-dimensionalized form of the continuity equation we thus have the three sets of equations which form our final boundary layer equations. We have thus arrived at the boundary layer equations starting from the 2D Navier-Stokes equations. Let's go over the uh, contributions of the famous aerodynamicist Ludwig Prandtl, emphasizing on his contributions to modern aerodynamics. Prandtl made decisive advances in boundary layer and in wing theory, and his work became the fundamental material for aerodynamics. He was an early pioneer in streamlining airships and his advocation of airplanes greatly advanced heavier than air aviation. He contributed to the Prandtl-Glauert rule for subsonic air to describe the compressibility effects of air at high speeds. In addition, in addition to his important advances in the theories of supersonic flow and turbulence. He made notable innovations in the design of wind tunnels and other aerodynamic equipments. He also devised a soap film analogy for analyzing the torsion forces of structures with non-circular cross-sections. Prandtl is regarded as the founder of fluid dynamics and specially made a name for himself with his boundary layer theory. He was a prominent German physicist was considered to be the father of aerodynamics. His decisive advances in the boundary layer and wing theories and uh, this work became the basic material of aerodynamics and uh, heavier than air aviation of flying vehicle. He also made important contributions to the theories of supersonic flow and turbulence besides contributing to wind tunnel development along with other aerodynamic equipment design. His most significant contribution during the period after World War I was his work on the airfoil theory. The lift force in the wings was fairly well understood and then he turned to the explanation of drag, the boundary layer which gave rise directly to the skin friction which was much too small to account for the wind drag was also discovered by him. He also went down working with a third contribution leading to the induced drag. He had recognized that the presence of lift causes a trailing vortex that uh, could be induced in the shape of a long distorted horseshoe with its base at the airport where the flight began and it ends at the wing tips which continually generates the vortex. These are some of the notable achievements and contributions of Ludwig Prandtl in the field of modern aerodynamics. Thank you.